where is this painting? This is in the Inland Empire somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where, but I'm working on a thin glaze right now to kind of blend the color. I thought it was going to work out on the first take, but it didn't. It, re it needed a, another glaze, so I want it to be nice and smooth. I see potential paintings everywhere. When I'm just out and about in the city or in nature, I see more potential paintings than I could possibly ever paint in a lifetime. And I think that's been a really important part of, of my practice. Also, color is really important to what I do. I would say probably the most important part of my work is color. I spend a lot of time mixing paint. I think that's ultimately the subject matter is also important to my work, but it's secondary to the color for me. inspired you to become an artist? I have pretty much always been an artist since I was a little kid. I think when I wanted to pursue it professionally, I knew probably around high school. I was also interested in forest ecology, but art ended up winning. I went to a community college and studied environmental studies and art, and ended up focusing on art, and then went to art school in Boston at Massachusetts College of Art. So Brad, how did you get to where you are today? Through a lot of hard work and discipline. I work really hard in my studio. So I think between discipline and, and focusing on my work, that's how I've gotten to where I am today. This body of work is based on my California. It's California, you have been to a lot of these places. With me, that's the flight that we took from LA to San Francisco on the way to my mom's house. Downtown scene is actually from the rooftop bar at the Ace Hotel. Mm -hmm. We had one of your friends was having a party over there. Mm -hmm. This is the West Side. It's uh, one of our by our favorite burrito place. I remember seeing that again when we were over there recently and being like, oh yeah, that's my painting, there, there it is. The places are definitely based on my photography, but beyond that, it's based on moments, I think. Just small moments in our lives where it starts with that and then it's the photography and from the photography it turns into the paintings. This painting is seen from downtown. It was actually on my morning commute. It's a foggy morning in LA and it was gonna be really hot. So this was kind of before the fog burned off. I really love this image because it has a lot of grays and I paint with a lot of color, but I actually really enjoy going back and forth. Gray is a beautiful color and it really sets off other colors when you use it in a painting. 
I used to be a plein air painter. I've gone from plein air painting to working primarily for my photographs. Part of that is because I have a studio now. Plein air painting logistically can be difficult. My last series was based on my Instagram photos and this has kind of gone from there. I'm still working from my photos. They're not necessarily the filtered images like I used to post on Instagram, but they are still moments from my daily life. 